Ones teams and uh, quite a lot of twos teams from the top universities for hockey in the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This um, so the Edinburgh side today in goals we have uh, Alex Johnson, Cammy Robson, twenty plus one, Ed Burry, twenty seven, Hamish Walker, the captain, is eighty six. Come on, Newcastle. Ben Ward. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. No, no, this will be I'm looking forward to an exciting game. Uh, uh, Newcastle. Uh, well. Herbert, 207 on the ball now, is next year's two's captain. Um, starting the ones last year, but <laughs> prefers to play uh, for the twos, winning more titles and getting more silverware. Newman Caddies in the ball. And twos player of the year this year. Strong start from Edinburgh University so far. Newcastle had had much of a good year. Good job. Well, 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 mate. Just some quick facts from Edinburgh season so far. So this year the twos have scored 118 goals in 32 games. They have won 25 games, drawn four, four and only uh, Sorry, drawn three and lost four with a 78% win ratio. Their top scorers. I think that came from a wild night in war. If I remember, it basically decides who goes up. If it's a draw, it will go to uh, penalty flicks. And when you try and deny space from for the attackers and force the ball into the wide areas, protecting the goal. Been quite even, you can see both teams are pretty well drilled in their presses, and it looks like both teams have decided to play zone student. Um, he's been playing for the twos for four years now and he's very handy in the middle. Um, extremely handy. He's also already released the side. Newcastle's, if they win today, this will be Newcastle's 14th Bucks game, uh, one in a row. So Edinburgh are also trying to thwart that by winning and gaining promotion. Yeah, and there's Stephen in 22 driving forward. Oh, well released. Ooh, great tackle. Great tackle from the side. Great tackle. Really that onto the pitch. Oh, that's a great drive into the D. Well, then hold up. Oh, well, one back from Jack Cahallan. Yeah. I think now Edinburgh should take the time to set up, keep the ball, try and be a bit more dominant. 
rather than constantly trying to keep going forward and force it. Newcastle have also been um, a bit like this. Oh, yeah. But I think he's trying to build up. Oh, great ball. Yeah, that's where it ends the long corner. So I think it is vital they try and keep the ball and build up here. Move Newcastle's defence, tire them out. Um, that is key to winning any game of hockey. Great win, great win back to number 11. Well, we're getting so many sponsors now, you know? Yeah, no one cares. 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 I think this that just uh, shows how much experience they have in their squads, and it definitely they definitely are competing with Edinburgh. It's uh, Cam old experienced heads like number thirty-two. Ben Wall looking forwards, no options. Great decision. Great decision. Wow. Jim, someone on museum. That's a great from Newcastle. They're making it hard for Edinburgh here. Tough life, really. Tough. Yeah, it's also quite interesting, both teams beat Warwick 4-3 and came from behind. So Warwick, the other team in the trail, obviously were quite good to go forward and start the game well, but they just couldn't hold on to it. How is it a three-team Strong drive from number seven here. Can I get across the goal? Great ball across these saves. Well dealt with the president. Alex Johnson. Great hands from number 14. The skills in the midfield. He's got a lot of experience indoor and outdoor, which I think shows that strong drive forward there. What do you think, Declan? I really enjoyed that. Yeah! Come on, Fresher, so you can see Newcastle do have some old heads in there with number 32. Um, the second year medic, but they also quite a few young freshers uh, for the second year. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Oh, great challenge from the social set, Freddie Cole. Oh, no. Thank 
Again, you can see now that Freddie Coleman has been sent off, the front two forwards are working as a two rather than a three, meaning there's more players in the back, keeping that compact to make it hard for Newcastle to score. Great ball from number 32, that's six year experience, and over 200 cats fishing for you there. Well won from Max Hamilton. Porter, next year's president. Absolutely, Declan. It's now that they can make, they might not have scored, but they can work Edinburgh harder, turn them out, and then hopefully later on in the third, fourth quarter, that fatigue that they've gained from this one man advantage will show that they might be able to score. He started in the forwards and he's clearly done pretty well. He's made his way all, uh, all the way to the first team. Yeah. Oh, well one back from Newcastle. Apologies, there's a lot of background noise on the back of the audio. Yeah. 
if he approaches the Northern Trainer Championship, the standard is higher, which will challenge both teams. Whichever team you have, it's going to be a challenge for you. But it will be a lot of experience, and if you manage to stay up next to it, that will help them build as a hockey club. Interesting, if it's a foul in the 25, all players have to be five yards away from it. So quite sometimes taking the ball quickly allows a foul to be drawn in a short corner to be given. Newcastle sag back and are now defending. Edward trying to find a way through. Well he goes Good effort from Jack Howell getting the ball across. Quite often the best thing to do is move the ball on into the space. <coughs> Quite often when you hold on to the ball, it gives the opposition a chance to win it back, and that is when they can actually be most dangerous once or after a double turn. Just gonna go and pop over Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, the true professional. This is show has 71 and we have it. And we're right back in this game. Six minutes to go in this half. That was a crucial time for him to score. The keeper did manage to get hands to it. We can straight through.
<clears throat> to be honest with you, I think you need to try and keep the ball. Win a follow up high, set him for a high platform, do try and push the ball forward. One all going to half time, it's nothing to worry about. You're in a good position to go out and win the next half. So, four teams to try and try and control the game. Thank you, Ian. All into the G. All picked up by the substitute.
Live. Let's go. Come on, Newcastle.
is basically in the 25, making it very hard for Newcastle to play right now. <laughs> yeah, at least up is work for it, I think. <laughs> Newcastle just probing around Edinburgh, trying to find out where the weak points are, how you can get through this cross. So if it actually does stay as a goal for the game, because it's only one team match, Edinburgh back in the high platform trying to find space to go forward. Throwing away cheap and throwing back now. Great pickup. Um, 
and create a lot of opportunities going forward. Shout out to Robbie. Oh, Thomas from Leeds, actually. This year, Freddy Cobb was really drilled into the role of social sec, helping um, bar staff and drop pits clean, clean up after nights out and make great new deals with the many clubs across Edinburgh, nightclubs. So if you're thinking of coming to Edinburgh, bear in mind that Freddy Coghill has been social sec and he knows his way around the dance floor. Great. Oh. Yeah. Dude, come. It's quite handy, isn't it? Oh, for sure. That's my brother, by the way. Oh, there he is again, picking up the ball. That's good from Newcastle recycling ball, trying to find the space on the other side of the pitch. Sometimes the best option is always to go forward, and in fact you can use the width of the pitch to move the opposition around and find space down the outside or even the middle. That is a great ball forward. So. Transferring back out. Well defended from Max Hammond. Hugh Hansom, number seven. You can see why he's got 51 goals this season. 
Great hands from the cats in there, I think. Well done. Newcastle being more dominant currently. Keeping the ball. Who play going forward? That's an unfortunate slip. It is getting wet out there. So it's not surprising that he slips over there. Newcastle with good skills in the D there. Goals have been flowing this game. Cool. <laughs> Good ball down the line for Tim Hurlett. Picked up by Jack Hurlett. Drive between the team. Cross ball. Right now they are not chopping the end, but they start getting the ball 
into play or trying to get Edison to step out and then they can play around the with the way Edinburgh are playing, they want the ball to go into that centre player. And they can pounce on it and set a trap. It's head to head. It's a good time. 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 Number 36 in Newcastle has been quite effective down the right there. <clears throat> he's been at the uni for six years now, so he'll have a lot of experience to know what he's doing. Edward Uni on the ball. Great pick up from Ben Wall. Oh, oh, great connection in the middle. Yeah, well won from Cameron. What Toby Hofer does so well in defence is getting in front of his man. You'll probably have noticed quite a few times in this game, he's always first to the ball. And that comes from repositioning and desire to win the ball. That's him again winning it, predicting the play, cash the play. Admittedly, then he was behind his man. 
thing to you. When an aerial is thrown, exactly, you have to be five yards from your man, so he was in the perfect position. Yeah, and James Pitchford, if you're watching, which I know you are, they got James. Good big pick up there from Max. Yeah. Good Get a goal back and try and add some more success. Like it wasn't you saying it. It wasn't yeah. you talking about it. It would have been us, but I don't know what it was. Toby Hopper is unreal. I just heard that Toby Hofer's mum is watching the game. So, hello to Toby Hofer's mother. I'm glad you could join us on this fine Wednesday evening. The weather's turned out alright, hasn't it, Dagwood? You never know, Edinburgh. Yeah, the sun's come out for the final five minutes of this game. Excellent game so far. 
Number seven has taken a couple of flicks so far, and 25 hit two one earlier. So they both are clearly threats. Now is the time for enemy adversity to run these down. Block off the line to goal and make sure the keeper doesn't have to make a save. Stressful final five minutes for me and Ian. Max Hamilton taking off the field, playing out wide for a moment. Ryan drowns the baseline, tries to win it up. Counter attacks on Newcastle. 25 million on the right hand side. Yeah! 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 Great hand eye coordination. He's also a great tennis player, so I'm sure that helps out. Oh, Toby Hooper with a dummy. Impressive. <laughs> At this stage in the game, Edinburgh needs to dig deep to bend well and they'll come away with the win. But Newcastle need to start, <coughs> start going forward. Also in the hockey game, you can take the goalkeeper out and make you, make, give you a one-man advantage. So um, that could be wise for Newcastle. And the average time taken for a goal to be scored without a goalkeeper is four minutes. And with three minutes and 40 seconds left, now could be the time to take off your keeper. So that will be down to Coach Craig Toga. I think I've pronounced that right. Um, he was in Newcastle's coach today. And he has coached the ladies one at Newcastle for Bucks National and into the England Hockey National League, so he'll be hoping to do the same for the men's team. So we're good hand with 14. You see Newcastle stepping up the pitch, trying to win it up the by the goalkeeper. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Massive, massive save from him. Time for Newcastle trying to launch another attack. 26 going forward. Good ball. Edward University numbers on the ball. Portion and wide. Great pick up. This is good hockey from Newcastle. I think after three and a half minutes, they might stop it so they can help you know, manage the time. So. There's a minute. Something to do, lads! Newcastle short corner coming into the last few minutes of the game. If you can see in the background, the clock 
has been stopped, and this is so the umpires can decide to can do the timings themselves. We think there's about a minute left, but not entirely sure. The umpire must have seen something in there. So. This is huge. Now's the time to run down the corners. An injection to Farcastle. Oh, variation there. Yes! did go into the goal, but the umpire has stopped time to speak to the other umpire. I will let you know as soon as possible to be out for that. Is. I think that could have been a foot from Newcastle, but we will see what the umpire is like. That's the beauty of hockey, you have two umpires, so um, they can have a discussion together and get a good conclusion on what the call should be. This is huge though, time is just about done, so if this counts, it will be flipped to the side of the side. We are in a deep discussion. <laughs> It's been talking for a while and the outcome is... Yeah! Yeah! It's always hard to say because we're up from here and the umpires are down there, but on, I might have seen a swing of the mess when the ball went across the deep. I'm not an umpire, so I don't know. Game on, 3 all. So if it does end up as a draw, it will go to strokes, where there will be five strokes takers from each team. And that is the end of the game. Three all in goals. I think both teams were quite evenly matched, so Newcastle getting an equaliser at the end could be justice, but interesting calls, and we now go into strokes. So there will be five counter takers for each team. Edinburgh went to strokes last weekend again, last, last Wednesday, sorry, against Warwick. How did that turn out here? I don't think it went great for Edinburgh, but hopefully today they choose their flip takers uh, with confidence and all the players. Nobody will fully go up to the peacock. This is going to be a dancing walk. And I presume the final one will be Hamish Walker. 
And for Newcastle, this is James Mayhew, number 14. Ruben Vasco, number 52. Reese Noble, number 7. Robbie Goldthorpe, number 25. And Will Foster Collier, number 16. Any of you managed to tune in to the Scottish Premiership playoffs the other day, you would have seen Ian miss a stroke. So, I'm not sure what, what would your advice be or how would you do it different if you had the opportunity to have another go today? You don't want to say congrats yourself. Saying here behind the ball, apparently. <laughs> I don't 
goal from Newcastle University. If this is saved, Newcastle will go through to the Fox Premier North. Jack Allen to take. Captain Jack took six strokes and scored six, so it's no surprise he slots that one away. Right, so I believe if Newcastle scores, it's a massive race. Thank you very much for Declan Bradley joining me in the commentary.